welcome back, gentlemen, ladies, they, thems, to Fiend Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. That's the game that we're playing. We set off on an adventure. If you missed it in the last one, uh, I am a boy named George living vicariously through Link's body. Uh, in the past, I rescued this girl. She turned out to be a princess. We discovered some ancient ruins to a beautiful kingdom, and then we flooded it underwater. Then we decided to set sail as pirates with a group of handsome men and explore the Seven Seas. While doing that, uh, we ended up in a situation where this suspicious-looking ghost ship appeared, and my BFF Tetra, she was kidnapped. Uh, she is a kid, she might be napping, but she very much jumped onto the ghost ship of her own free will because she was like, all right, big ship, I don't see anybody on it, I'm about to loot this bitch. So she went to do that, and then she screamed, and then the boat kind of, you know, did that thing that boats do. It floated, if you will, uh, and it floated away from us. I tried to jump after it. I fell into the water. I washed ashore on Merke Island, where I met these beautiful folks, Ciela and uh, Linebeck. Ciela's a little fairy. Her and an old man told me that if I want to track down the ghost ship, I should meet this dapper man named Linebeck because he's a great adventurer and he has a boat. Now, I'm already skeptical to his adventuring abilities. However, he does have a boat. And like my college counselor used to tell me, you should always make friends with people who have boats. So we tried to make nice with him and use him to our advantage. And with his boat, he is now taking us over to the Isle of Ember, where we are supposed to look for a woman named Astrid, because Astrid is allegedly a talented fortune teller who is allegedly going to be able to help us out by setting us on, I don't know, some kind of path of guidance to find this ghost ship so I can reunite with my bestie. Hopefully it'll all work out. And that's where we are. You're caught up to speed. Let me get my hellos in order. Nate, it's good to see you. Sorry you have to step out early, but I hope you have a lovely dinner tonight. Between Heaven and Hell, Cosmetology Corner, Jacob Welsh, and Dogface, and PRS. Good to see all of you guys. Ugh. How's it going, Linebeck? Oh, did you find Astra, George? Not yet? And you still want to leave? Oh, no, no, I don't want to leave. I do very much want to stay here. Huh. Fine, then. I'll be here working on the ship. Right, okay. Glad we're on the same page with that. All right. Well, let's start in the first home, see if she's here. Astrid? Do you happen to be here, woman? Very small house, very empty. Not a lot going on here. Where's the bathroom? Do people just, like, go out and shit in a hole in the backyard or something? I don't know. All right, so... Sure enough, she's not right there. Um, I guess let's start exploring. See what we can find. Fortune teller! Oh, she's this way, is she? I understand. Okay, but who's in this home? No one. If you're reading my words, it means that I have fallen to fate. Oh, no. <laughs> Starting strong. Stephen, hello! Somebody died, I think. So look east to pick up the torch and take up my duty. K.O. Look east to pick up my du- to pick up the torch and take up my duty. Look east. Let me make a note of that. Alright, because I'm a good note taker. We're gonna say... Here's my little map. Here, Here's north. Oh, jeez. Oh, hang on. I can make that better. Here's north, west... Wait, no. Hang on. Oh, jeez. I know my compass directions. Uh, okay, we got north, east, south, west. <laughs> you know what? Let me try it on the other side. This is the side of my 3DS that is bad, and this is why I'm struggling to draw so much. All right, let's try it in the middle. North... South, east, west, and we want to look, look, look to the east. Here, it's a little I. I think it makes perfect sense. I'm a very good note taker. 
Damon, this is the Nintendo DS. I get to draw and take notes and everything. All right. All right, Kayo, we're going to find it. Oh, George, look, it's a mystery. I wonder what happened on the aisle. Well, somebody died and they left us a torch. Um, what is that noise over yonder? Oh, okay. Got some more of these bad boys. Nice. Uh, well, let's start by... Uh, I guess let's start by going to the fortune teller? Probably makes the most sense. Is this her? Astrid? Oh. Oh. You know, it's wrong of us, maybe, to enter people's homes when they're not around, but... You know, doors aren't really a thing here, so that's fine. Is she in the basement? Astrid! Oh. Uh. Oh! Oh, ma'am! What the fuck? What do you got going on down here? I'm sorry, is this an occupied household? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Also, Omni Okami, thank you so much for the subscription. Happy to have you- oh, jeez. Um, game? I don't know if now is the best time for this. Oh, George, don't worry about the Octorox, you're fine. Okay, mark the locations of our island's three torches. Um, three torches, you say? Well, there was one in the house. Okay, there's one, there's one, okay. Oh. All right. Astrid. Respectfully. What the fuck? Uh, George, hang on, about that picture that you looked at? The one over here on the wall? I feel a presence on the other side of the door. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there, but the door looks pretty locked to me. What do you think we should do? Oh, I know, why, why don't we call out? Ready? Okay, call out something now, loud and clear. Ayo, Astrid, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, who? Uh, who's there? Someone heard you! You did it, George! Are the monsters gone? Well, get me out of here! Um, it's safe out here. Are you the fortune teller, Astrid? Yeah, that's right. My name's Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. All right, well, I've already got red flags here. I don't think she's very good at her job. I can't open the door from the inside. Oh! What the fuck? We need to get Raven Baxter over here. If I'm gonna get any kind of psychic, she's the only one I'm gonna trust. This bitch locked herself inside of the closet in her own home. Oh yeah, I'm a really good fortune teller. There's just one thing I couldn't foresee, and it's that the own door in my own home doesn't unlock from the inside. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna help us find the ghost ship? I don't know about that. I don't know who you are, but would you open it? What if we said no? Like, is she just gonna starve to death in here? She locked herself in here with no way out. I mean, fine, I'll do it. Thanks. And good luck, because this one's gonna be tricky. Do you see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow the key to opening the door. Unfortunately, only my assistant Ko knows the secret of it. Oof. Um... I'm currently operating under a hypothesis that Ko is deceased. Maybe he's just kidnapped. Macadamia Nut, hello, thank you for popping into the chat. Okay, got it. So we have to find Ko to learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll, we'll get you out of there soon. Pro probably, maybe. Uh, George is on it. He'll do everything. I will do everything. It's my goddamn job. Also, am I out of sync? I, don't, I worry about this camera and falling out of sync. Chat, let me know. All right. Let's see if we can save this woman. All right, all right, so three torches we're looking for. One of the torches, 10 out of 10, was in this house. 
Why don't I map that? Um. Fire! Great. No, it's fantastic. Oh, shit! Oh, jeez. Gotta be careful about that. Hey, Ciela. As my guardian fairy, you lead me into a lot of danger. Oh, come on. Can none of this grass have a heart for me? It's the first level of the game. Can't I be cut a little slack? Okay, good, good. Nice. Svel? Can I... Anything in the tree? No, not really. That doesn't look fun to touch. Summit path! Approval needed for entry. Approval from who? Alright, whatever. It's not important right now. Let's just navigate ourselves safely. Oh, God! Oh, it's like my worst fear come to life. Jumping spiders. Guys, there was a centipede in my apartment the other day, and it was simply too high on my loft ceilings to reach, and I hate that because I lost it and I don't know where it is now and they say that house centipedes are actually good pests to have in the home and that they're not a nuisance animal and that they tend to eat other pests like spiders and small insects and oh no um George I don't mean to interrupt you talking about shit no one cares about but um there's kind of a, a, a another one of these little twink skeletons over here you might want to take a look at it alright fine Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, brute force will get you nowhere. No! Oh, oh, it's a ghost. George! Hit him with your sword! Knock his head off! Decapitate him! Stab him in the gut! Oh, wait! Wait! Give me some warning before you come at me! Look, I must look bad, but I swear, I'm not a bad ghost. Um, I don't know if I trust him. Well, to be honest, I guess he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. Oh, uh, my name's Ko. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. My guy, what did she do to you? Oh, just look what's become of you. Did you walk into her basement with all of her monsters? <laughs> if you believe in fate, it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Wow, ever the optimist, are we? <laughs> Imagine fucking dying and being like, well, that's a good way to lose a quick 180 pounds. Of graver concern, though, it's what's happening to Astrid. Oh, jeez, it haunts me. I'd worry less about her and more about you. She's still alive, my guy. Oh, we just saw Astrid. She asked us to open the door that locks her in. Oh! Miss Astrid's all right, then! Oh, well then please, you gotta open the door for me! Or I'll tell you the secret! The three torches on this island are the key to under- Yes, yeah, sir, I read your diary. I'm- I'm like five steps ahead of you. Where are they? Well, if you just keep that in mind, you may be able to open the door. But, like... Could you not just relay the information to me? I'm kind of on I'm kind of on a schedule here. I lost my friend, and you obviously know the information since it's your shtick that you set up. Well, one of the torches is here. You should make a note on your map. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Alright. Here. Fire. Number two. <laughs> Dope. Please take care of Astrid. All right, well, I gotta take care of myself. All right, sorry, my guy. I wish for nothing but the best of you. Let me just give you one celebratory stick in the ass. Okay, good. Oh, sorry. Okay, fine, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> uh, desecrating a body in the second episode. Okay, no, don't touch me. I don't have the spare life for it. Can I- can somebody drop me a heart? Jesus Christ! You guys are ruthless- oh, I don't want to touch that. I'm not in my fuck around and find out state of mind anymore. Is there anything in this tree? Oh, doing the somersault is a little difficult, actually. Come on, scribbles on the side of the screen. come on. Come on, Link! Come on, Link! That kinda counts. Nothing fell, though. 
Okay. Every oh, God, another one. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, but look, money. Oh, and also look, a torch. Okay, 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 careful. Oh, that, that could have gone better. Okay, torch, map. Fire. Number three. All right, that's all three of them. We should be good to go. Don't touch this thing. Roll into the trees. I've been trying to roll into the trees. I did roll into them, kind of, sort of. I didn't roll into this one. Rolling's actually surprisingly difficult to do in this game. Oh, God bless. Thank you. Who was that? Omni Okami. <laughs> Coming through with the pro tips. Oh, I feel at peace now. Does this game... Why doesn't this game have button controls? I can only imagine that Nintendo was really trying to push for the... Oh, fuck. Push for the touchscreen controls. Like, this must have been a really big, like... Guys, the Nintendo DS is touchscreen. Look at this fancy technology. boing -oing. Two up in the summit gate. You need what the fortune teller has to offer. Sounds suspicious. Whether you believe in her fortunes, however, is up to you! I like that, because I'm, I'm not one who tends to believe in that kind of shit. Ah! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. We're... kill it! Can I roll into this tree? Oh, sick! I'm gonna get rich, boys. At the price of a concussion. You can attack the Electro Choo Choo, you just have to wait for its shock to be off. Oh! Okay. Will do. Um, can you wish Gracie a happy birthday? Gracie! Happy birthday to you. Watch me kill this choo choo. And I'll roll into a tree now. What was I singing about? Happy birthday, Gracie. Oh, we're back here. Okay, nice. Is there anything important back here? Leave no stone unturned. No, there really wasn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what about this one? Okay, still nothing. Uh, well, I think we'll be able to open the door at least, if nothing else. Do I have plans to cross stream on Twitch too? I feel like that would just get a little too complicated trying to do both. Alexander, I really prefer YouTube just because of the archive system where I can keep my streams and I can't really do that on Twitch permanently. I, I suppose I could cross stream to both at the same time, but then I would completely neglect Twitch probably because I can, I, keeping track of multiple chats would probably get difficult. Um. Mark the locations of our island's three torches. Right, right, right. Okay, so one is in the house. Ooh. One is over here, and one is here. Well, well, okay. Listen, that was a stylus problem. No, I, I, I understand. I understand. I can do it. I, pr I promise. I know where they are. It was here, and here, and then there. Sick. You touch to the right places. Mm. Words I don't often hear. Oh, honey, you're stunning. Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so you are no ordinary travelers. May I ask your names? No. Oh, don't be modest. This is George, and I'm Cielo. Girl! What the fuck? If I want to be discreet, I'm trying to be here discreet, and Cielo's like, oh no, no discretion necessary. Here, do you want his social security number and his email address? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. George, it evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. A lovely name. Obviously, you've never met Bush. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. It's just a joke. Now tell me, what brought you to our island? Uh, 
I guess it was a ship. Well, George is looking for his friend who was taken by a ghost ship. And Astrid, we were kind of hoping that you might have some insights. Oh, is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away, to escape its ruinous reach. Is that what happened to your assistant, Ko? You couldn't have locked him in the door with you? You were like, <laughs> listen, you've been a great assistant, but best of luck, hunty. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Ko since then. Ooh. Sweetie, I don't want to say it's all your fault, but I've got some bad news. Um, Astrid, about that. Here's the thing about Ko. I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. <laughs> destiny that I had to lock him out of my safe haven so he died and I survived. Well, life has little use for mourning. That's what Ko probably thought, anyways. No sense bothering ourselves with his death. Shall I tell your fortune? <laughs> Okay. Nintendo really just skating by a whole man's death. I'm here for it. Please, wait upstairs for me. If any others are with you, bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourselves and I will join you after I make preparations. Oh, we're just cutting too, are we? Oh, I can't found it! You think that someone who sees the future would be on time? <laughs> Kinda like lying back. All right, George, where is this Astrid? Let's get our fortunes told and be done with it. Greetings. Now if everyone is here, we can begin. Open my eyes to the future. A sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred light. I see it! I shall speak it! Listen with your hearts! Mm, that organ doesn't do that, sweetie, but go off. If you really want to find the ghost ship, George, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra- Yeah, girl, where is the ship? Oh, very nice. Okay, the honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There, you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it within you to alter our doomed course of events, George. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. You have to hurry. Oh, power of darkness, eh? Hey, kid! I, uh, look, I just remembered that... Oh, I, got, I gotta go polish the, uh, the ship's rudder. It's looking real, uh, real rusty out there, actually. I gotta give it a little spit shine. Huh, eesh. What's with lying back? Well, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. Alright, so you mean to tell me that my friend who was kidnapped on a boat in the middle of the sea to rescue her, I need to go to the fire temple on the summit of this island? <sighs> I just, I, I don't want to say I don't believe you, but you're almost as dishonest as my chat when they tell me that there's only 10 minutes left in an Ace Attorney trial. <laughs> uh, there's no treasure down here. Fuck. All right, fine. Let's go back. I, all right, I guess let's go to the Fire Temple. It's about time we do the first dungeon of the game. Oh wait, does that mean that the door is going to be open now? Is that how that works? Let me see. Oh yeah, sure enough. Oh look! We can reach the Temple of Fire at the peak through here! Come on George, just tap the door and it'll open! Okay, okay. Good enough by me. Oh! Shit, alright. Ha! I got it. Okay, 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 good, good. God, oh god, oh fuck. Okay, 
You know what I really am gonna need to do? I'm really gonna need to build up some heart containers. I have a hypothesis usually- uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, this is getting worse! Oh, George, look! The volcano, it's erupting! You better not get hit by all the giant magma! Yeah, thanks for the advice, CL. I'll try my hardest. <laughs> gotta kill spiders, gotta avoid giant falling rocks! And I only have three heart containers, so I maintain my hypothesis, which is that I think the beginning of Zelda games can sometimes be the most difficult part of the game, when you only have three hearts and not a lot of room to fuck up. Okay, good. Great. Avoid it! Nice. Okay. Da 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 da! Jeez. Ooh, ooh, the red ones are. really get some distance on them. Alright, can I pick up this heart? Come on, see how. There you go, girl. Okay, good. We're, we're good. We're swell. Oh, uh, that must be the temple. But the entrance is sealed, George. Okay, well. Can I go. Oh, can I go up here? Robert, that looks suspicious. That looks bombable. Well, I can go up here. Oi! And what's the point? Oh, there's treasure. 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 What do I get? Oh! <laughs> Ooh! Thank God I don't have an active hitbox when I'm collecting my money. You got a red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Really worth that giant rock to the face. Okay, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Moving around. What's on this side? Hi. What do you have to say? Blow out the flames to illuminate the path ahead. Oh, I, s I think I get it. Okay. Wow, this game really uses the microphone, too. Make a wish, boys! Wait, hang on. Sorry, I should probably face it. Oh, God. All right, make a wish fast. That's really great, George. Now we can enter the temple. All right, let's face up to that, that you know, darkness that that woman was talking about. Okie doke. Temple of Fire. Holy shit, it's starting. Wow, we start with a map right from the get-go. So there must not be, like, dungeon maps to get. Oh, jeez, it's real hot in here. Oh, there's also flames everywhere. Look, George, I don't know if you ever learned this before, but it's not a good idea to touch fire. So don't go and burn yourself. Thanks for the pro tips, honey. Listen, I will say that when I was a student in chemistry lab, I did accidentally light myself on fire once at a Bunsen burner. Didn't realize it was happening until my arm hairs were like singeing and it started smelling and somebody was like, what is that smell? And I was like, oh shit, that's me, sweetie. That was not a good day for me. Uh, can I jump? Oh, God bless. <laughs> it's a bold decision to make. What is this? Don't make haste. Make note of the one safe path. Oh, oh, it's like traps. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Time for my artistry skills to come into play. So we go up, then over and up, almost over until we go down to the bottom, over, up, and over. I think that looks good. I think that's about as good as I can do with it. Hmm, I wonder what that means, but you should probably take a note of it. Go ahead and copy- yeah, I just did. Good. What's in here? Huh. Huh. Gotta get the last keys! Come on! Ke Ooh. <laughs> Man, I'm really bad at this touchscreen fighting. I'll probably get good by the end of the game, right? Alright, is this a key, perchance? Fuck yeah, it is. Dope. Alright. So we'll take the one safe path. Guys, something else has happened to me, and I don't know how to feel about it. So, I am a person who posts a lot of photos of myself on the internet. Narcissism at its finest. Listen, thirst trapping is part of my job. The thing is, let me follow this path carefully. Uh, ooh. Um, the thing about it is that recently, 
somebody decided to take one of my Instagram pictures and they decided to repost it themselves, which is kind of a normal thing that happens every now and again. What had happened though, is this person, they decided, you know what? I want to share this guy's photo because it looks kind of, oops. Because it looks kind of good, but we just got to fix his face. They ran me through a Facetune filter, like a pretty hard one, where they like cleaned up my skin, smoothed me out, brightened up the picture, and then reshared it. And it started gaining a lot of traction on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. It's been reshared by a bunch of different like weird accounts that like to like reshare men and whatnot. And I'm just embarrassed because it's like this Facetune picture of me. I think it's a bad Facetuned picture, but it seems to be doing well. And I was like, damn, is, is, it, is it me? Am I the problem? Is my regular face not good enough? Am I trying to hit all of these? Ha! Oh man, I have to walk all the way back? Oh god. Remember at the beginning of the game when I was like roasting the fairy for being like, really, you think that walking's gonna be difficult? Well, little did I know. All right, okay, good, good. Let's go up the stairs. Okay, no, let's go around. Uh, four, two. Oh! Oh, God, it distorts my map! Oh, I don't like that one bit. Okay, okay, okay. I might have to look at my DS a little bit more so I see where I'm touching with my stylus. So once again, like last time, I apologize for all of the crotch staring. All right, turn that up, go around, over this way. We're- Oi! Nice. Hey! Hey! Okay, okay, the jumping was a little unnecessary, don't you think? Take that. Oh no. What do we got going on in here? Okay, some mucus, some bacteria. Listen, I've had chlamydia a couple times in my day. I know how to deal with a situation like this. Just gotta get some penicillin and everything will be okay. Ooh, big chest. What do we think's in her? Get my heart. The boomerang! This item follows the path you draw on the screen. Oh, a boomerang. Do you know how to throw it? Well, first you're gonna tap the item icon to equip the boomerang. Then just draw a line and follow its flight path. Give it a try, throw it around the room. Oh, ooh, I like that. Oh! Oh, I can do it with the L button. Okay. Throw it here and get a pot. Is there something? Oh, there's a heart. Sick deal. Okay. Loving this. Making good progress. This is probably the best implementation of the boomerang in the Zelda series. I mean, it works so delightfully, does it not? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, shit, oh, I gotta be quick. Oh, fuck, I gotta be quicker. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Gotta, gotta draw your lines real fast there. You can just tap where you want to throw it if you don't want to draw a precise path. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, the boomerang! I can probably use that on those electric guys. That'll be helpful. Um, hi, what do you have to say? boing -ing. There are no treasure chests on this floor. Great, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the very helpful knowledge, my guy. Ha! You can stun them a little bit. Okay, that's good to know. Switch that. Oh, I see. I see. Go outside of it, then take the boomerang, and then throw it. Aha! And we can go down here. Hey! 
sick deal. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's kind of like. I think. Oops. <laughs> I think that's just a shortcut, because that takes us back to the main room. Oh, man. All right, I'm catching on to the pattern. I got a bad feeling about crossing into this threshold. Yeah, there it is. Um, oh, 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 uh, do something. Great, <laughs> do something more. Okay, got one of them, got one of them. Hey, hey. Ah, did you see that? Thank you for the tip about just tapping in the direction you want it to go. I think that's going to be a lifesaver for me. Okay. Phew. Making good work. Up the stairs. Let's take this girl on. Um, oh, we got another key. Oh, but I can't go that way yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Jesus. Boing -oing. The number of chests here is one. One chest on this floor. It'll cost you 20 rupees to see where it is. Um, I'm gonna try to find it on my own first. I'm not in the interest of being scammed out of all of my money. If I get stuck, I, I, I'm happy to know that you're there. In fact, maybe I should make a note of it on my map. That'd be a, a smart idea. Okay, you know what? Fuck, what am I doing? I have a stick. I can... I can hit them, probably. Easier said than done, I guess. Seriously? Come on. There we go. Can I get this heart? Thanks. Chip. Uh, I don't know what that did. Okay, okay. Okay, go around, go around. Okay, can't go around that way. Jump over here. Oy! Okay, <laughs> Jesus, when did this turn into a Super Mario level? Good. Oh. You got a red rupee. Wait a minute. He said there was one chest on this floor and it would cost 20 rupees. I would have just made an. I would have given away my profit. See, it would have been a scam. A total scam. Okay, so that opens that. Which I probably need, because there's a key back there. Let's see if we can... See if we can get her. Oi! Okay. Got it! First try. I'm sickening. Okay. Run it! Oi! Don't get hit again. Don't get hit again. Hardcore parkour. Come on, buds. You're amazing. You're a king. You're a god. Oh, no. Okay. I get it. I understand. It's all about use the boomerang. I'm so sorry. My life is just simply more important than yours. Okay, okay. This is fun. I like this boomerang mechanic. Okay, and I got the key. So I think we're, uh, I think we're good here. Let's move on up in the world. All right, floor three. What, what challenges await me now? Oh, God. Okay, well, we got a candle. Make a wish. Make another wish. Good. Uh, what's up yonder? Huh. I don't get it yet. <laughs> Maybe there will be a hint. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, this one's fast. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, here it is. Quick as you can, flip the switches in order. Okay, 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 okay. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, okay. Um, when you see something, you should write it down. Oh my god. Okay, Navi. Get this, oh, get this. Lose a heart to gain a heart, it all checks out. Okay, 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 okay. So, we want eins, zwei, drei, vier. Perfecto. Oh, I can solve puzzles every day of the week. You got a small key, use it to open a locked door. I fully intend to. Fear not. I love the, uh, I, I gotta say, from an art direction standpoint, I also really appreciate the, like, the little amber-red glow that's put being cast on Link's character model for the Fire Temple. That's a nice touch. boing oing The number of chests here is one. That'll cost you 20 rupees. Um, no, I did just fine on my own last time, so. I'm gonna try and keep it. Oh, that's just that. Okay. Whoa! What's this? It looks kind of ominous. Looks like the boss door slash Vati. Vati's not in this game, is he? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Well, that could have gone better. Okay, that could have gone better. gonna die here. This is it, boys. This is the end. Kill it. Okay, kill it. Kill it. Oh my god, Link. Do something. Spin! Wow, that didn't work at all. Jesus Christ. D does, does it fly over my spin? What the fuck happened there? I don't know. I'd like to file a complaint. Take this. Move up here. Can't go that way. All right, handle this tactfully. Haha. -ha. Nice. Uh, handle it tactfully. No, oh, I, I probably could have done a little better. Come here, bubs. Come here. Now get fucked. Oh, this tapping thing. <laughs> I'm bad at it. Go figure. Okay. Was ist up here? When all three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. Um, do I have to do it in a special order, or is this gonna be as simple as just light the torches? It's gonna be as simple as just light the torches. Okay, listen. It is clearly a tutorial dungeon to kind of teach you the fundamentals of, like, how to use the boomerang. <laughs> She's a little basic. Can I? Can I make this jump? Oh, you know what? Think first, move second. It'll save me a lot of headache. Okay. Chest here. Gotta kill the fire case with the boomerang. Yeah, I'm learning that. You found the boss key! It's a huge, heavy key. Uh, tap close to yourself to set it down and tap far away to throw it. Oh, I hold it? Oh, I hold it. Oh, I can't use my boomerang. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. All right, come on, Link. You better keep these little legs moving. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be the best farmer's walk we ever did. <laughs> We're gonna have buns of steels at the end of this. We're getting a gym session. I right, cast it. Well, that's kind of a cute animation. A 
I'm on board with it. Okay, boys. I have a hunch we're about to face the big bad. The darkness. Oh, I have three whole hearts. Let's see how it goes. Floor four. This temple protects the spirit of power. Oh, oh. That's a nice little touch. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. That is also kind of nice. I feel... Ooh, okay. I feel like it might be a good idea to save. Just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> and let's see what's going. Um, George, I can feel an evil presence lingering at the top of these stairs. Be careful. Okay, George. Thanks, Ciela. I feel safe with you with me. Who? Well, oh, jeez, look at this arena. Valu, is it you? No, it's Blaz, Master of Fire, or Blaze. It's Blaze, Master of Fire. Okay, uh, oh, oh. Um. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, oh, I can lock onto them. Wait! Oh, 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 I might have drawn that line a little too, a little too big, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, fast lines, fast lines, fast lines, fast lines. I don't... Nothing happens. Oh! Oh, I see. The map. Oh, God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Th they have horns. They're numbered. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him! Get him, get him, get him! Get him, get him, get him! Spin him! Come on, you got this, Link! Don't let him get away! Did I do good? Maybe? Okay, okay. One, two, three. Nope, nope, nope. I, I fucked it up. Okay, that's fine. Everything's okay. One, two, three. I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ugh, don't touch me! Oh, oh, ow! Excuse you! Oh, jeez, now I've stepped in it. Summoning boulders and everything. Um... Alright, hit him! Oh, jeez. Uh, Alright, stop teleporting! It's a little bit rude. Am I doing this wrong? I just... I'm not feeling wholly confident. Maybe I have to boomerang him. Alright, maybe I'll try that next time. Um, one, two, three. Did I get them? I did. Oh! Yeah, I had to boomerang. Oh. Yeah, what you think about that, you little bitch? Oh! Oh, I yeeted him out of existence! Power symbol? Oh guys, it's the uh it's the sages theme from Ocarina of Time. Uh oh god a Fairy? Hey, Ciela, do you need a friend? Um, I'm Leaf, Spirit of Power. I serve the Ocean King. I owe you thanks for defeating the evil wizard. You broke the seal, so now I'm free. Oh, look, George. It's the Spirit of Power, Leaf. 
leaf of the spirit of power. This must be what Astrid was talking about. Was it? Leaf, my buddy. Are you gonna take me to the ghost ship? Well, yeah, you kinda need to help us, Leaf. We, we need your strength. I was locked away with the Ocean King years ago, but now I can't feel the Ocean King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. Right, and I'm sorry about that. I'm kind of looking for my friend. <laughs> if I come with you, maybe I can find out what happened to the Ocean King. If you need it, I will gladly lend a hand. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's a cute little laugh. I like that. Oh, that's kind of adorable. The Spirit of Power Leaf has joined your group as Stardust Tom will say, Oh, jeez, now we have two tippies. <laughs> You should go tell Astrid. All right, if you insist. Oh. Oh, is that not gonna be my heart container, maybe? I do need one of those. Yeah, sure enough. You got a heart container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. Thank God. All right, let's go talk to Astrid. I gotta ask her how in the world getting a second fucking fairy is gonna help me find my ghost ship. Um, the volcano stopped erupting, George. I'll bet it's because you defeated all the monsters. Come on, let's go tell Astrid. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that part. So does this mean that the land is free from monsters that are going to attack me now? Because I still hear- Oh, no, it does not mean that one bit, actually. Alright, just get to this bitch's house. <laughs> Hey, Astra- Oh, Lineback, what are you doing here? Hey, kid! So you were able to defeat all the monsters! Well, Astrid's waiting! Well done. You defeated the power of darkness, George. And thus, you've broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit you need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need three spirits. Power, wisdom, and courage. When you have all three, you're gonna have the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at present. Girl, then what am I paying you for? I see another clue for you to find at the Temple of the Ocean King on Merke. And to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. You got a power gem! Holy shit, these things are worth like 500 rupees. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. What is the point of these? A power gem, it radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Store it on the collection screen for now. That's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that somewhere on the seas... You can raise a spirit's power for 10 gems. Oh, it's an upgrade system. Dope. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. Huh. You actually did it, kid. Now we're getting even closer to getting rich. Oh, oh I'm excited. Uh... He's pretty self-centered, huh? Well, I sense that man will prove to be an asset and not an anchor in time. Aw, she's got faith in his character development. Well, I hope you're right, Astrid. All right, let's quickly set sail back for Merke Island, George. Okie doke. All right, um, you're welcome for saving you and your entire island and getting a fairy. Can I look at the collection screen? Oh yeah, here it is. Power gem, times one. Spirit of power, acquired. We need the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of courage. Okay, oh, okay, dope. All right, boys, back to the Temple of the Ocean King, I guess. Do, 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 hi, bubs. 
Huh? What's taking so long? I was about to leave you here, George. Ah, lying back. What are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Sorry, I forgot his voice for a moment. Don't you suspect that the light that needs finding is a really shiny treasure? Um, I don't know. I feel like it's probably not that. Yeah, Lineback, the treasure is going to be the friends that we've made along the way. It's what it always is. Anyways, let's head back to Merkay Island. Yes. You haven't forgotten anything, have you? I don't think so. Very well, let's be off. Okie doke. Moving on out, boys. We did some good work on the Isle of Ember. I feel proud of what we've accomplished. Uh... Wait, can I go... Can I also go back to Beetle's ship? And we're off. I don't know, maybe I can do some shopping. I've earned a good bit of money, I feel. Corset! Let's go. I'm on an adventure. Hard turn to Stabo- Star- Starbo- Hard turn. The ship is taking a turn. It's taking it hard. Look at me, I'm the king of the sea. Look at how happy I am, set in sail. And guys... Look at my beautiful golden frogs. And listen to what an absolute bop this track is. Oh. There's just something that feels so uplifting about setting sail. Oh, I can't wait till it's summer and I can hang out on boats again. All right, Beetle, what you got for me today? I want to stop in on your place. Oh, welcome to Beetle's shop. All right, I don't have enough for the power gem. Those cost like 500. Ship parts, 150 rupees. The mermaid prow. I do like the idea of putting a mermaid on my ship, but uh, I don't know. I need to learn a little bit more about how ship custom, like that part of the game hasn't even been told to me yet. Maybe I should hold off until it has been. All right, Beetle, you sit tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna do my objective. Uh, and we're right here, actually. Look, you can even see the boat shop and the, the treasure teller. That's kind of nice. The attention to detail this game, you know what it has, boys? We say it every time, it has aesthetic. Uh, when do you guys think I'll be able to get bombs? Do you have anything to say? Oh, well, we should head up to the temple to scare up more info about the next spirit. I'd lead the charge, but I really need to stay put and attend to my ship. So jump to it. I'll catch up later. Catch up later, huh? Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Alright, fine, no matter- Hey, it's open! Right? The shipyard is open! If you have ship parts, I'd take them in here. Hey, want a tip that will give you an edge? Yes. You know that you grip your equipped item by tapping the item icon. You can also press- Oh. I actually figured that one out on my own, too. But thanks. Uh, wow, look at you. Can I steal your treasure? Hey, it's the Mermaid Pro! Oh! Guys, would I have felt like the biggest dunce had I purchased this from Beetle. Go to the shipyard to customize your ship and check the collection screen. Alright, um, hi, Retatu. What's that guy's name from Animal Crossing that digs into the ground? Rossetti. This guy kind of looks like him. <sighs> Come on in, you found yourself in the shipyard. Wanna customize your ship? If you got the parts, I've got the time. So what's it gonna be I ain't got all day? Um, wow, look at this. Customize. Passable Prow. Wow, what a name. Mermaid Prow. 
Well, that's the only part that I have. Explanation. The design was based on eyewitness accounts. Have you heard the hypothesis that most mermaid sightings were actually manatees? Let's put a big fat mammal on the front of my ship. It's the only customization I think I have. So that'll have to do. But we can customize the anchor. Okay. What else? Oh, jeez. Hitting the back button is a little difficult. Um, it looks like we can do the hull. The fence, or the handrails, the body of the ship, the smokestack thingamajig, and the wheel. Interesting, this should be fun. View ship. There she is, guys. Is she pretty? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Hopefully we can get some good ship parts and we can make something that looks really dope. Uh, tips and tricks I might ask for in like a vague sense. Just please, if, if there's anything that's like really spoilery, try to avoid that. Um, I, I'm a, I, I don't know if like ship customization is gonna be relevant to like story progression or anything to do with the game or whatnot, but... We shall see. All right. Your ship's stamina will go up if you use parts from the same set, so experiment. Oh. What is my ship's stamina? I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Uh, still don't have a bomb bag, so can't really do much with that. Is the treasure teller open? She is not. Or he. He or she is not. Da, da, da. Yeah. You guys aren't so tough anymore. Listen, I've dealt with your electrified brothers. I'm not quite so scared of you anymore. Oh, fuck. Forgot about that. Someday, boys. Some days I'm gonna someday I'm gonna get bombs. And I won't get stuck here. In the meantime, let's get back to business. Um, uh, hey, wait! Oh, oh. If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget this cursed temple can suck the life out of you, kid. I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy to handle this temple. Aw, look at Linebeck actually looking out for me. I didn't expect that from him. We don't want to end up like this chwink bottom. No, we, we definitely don't. Hey, you know, um... I mean, if you say you want to go it alone, well, who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to put all the work on George again. If you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, kid. The temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for uh, kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not exactly true. What? Oh, oh, it's not. Uh, oh, oh, it's him. Grandpa! Hi, Grandpa! I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You are strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you will be fine. George! Get up on that altar! Uh, I get a little uncomfortable when old men ask me to get up on their altars, but fine. If it's for you, Daddy. I won't object. Oh, it's the Hourglass, which is the name of the game. Okay, how does this come into play? Now, George, take the Hourglass. Okay, I'll try. Oh! You got the Phantom Hourglass! 
It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand, which is what the monster turned into when we defeated it. Okay. So are we supposed to, like, kill the demons and fill the hourglass? You now hold the legendary phantom hourglass, George. As long as you carry it, the temple cannot drain the life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, then we can search for clues. And for the spirit. However... Oof. You are only safe as long as sand remains on the top of the phantom hourglass. When all the sand is drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. Are we- is it against the rules to, like, flip it over? It's an hourglass! Can't you just flip it over again? Yeah. <laughs> Great minds think alike. No, oh, once the sand of ours has drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Oh, I get it. Talk about a gaming loophole. So we have to go outside of the temple, you're saying? The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the sand of ours. The beast you defeated in the temple of fire held some grains of it. How did you know we fought a beast in the temple of fire? What's your ammo, dude? Are you like our watcher? It is said to be made of force gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. Okay. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect their sand of ours. The more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in this temple showed us where to find the captured spirit. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits, hmm. I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in this temple, I just know it. I won't stop you, George. Dive deeper into the mystery. But keep the phantom hourglass in hand. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred light was fading? We should probably hurry, George. So, how do you know so much, old man? Line back asking the real questions, alright? Me and him. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that I'm on the same wavelength as Linebeck, but he's my guy. Hmm. That long story is not yet ready to surface. But all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right! A mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, George! Put some steam in your engines! Get exploring the temple, kid! Alright, fine. Jeez, yeah, I'm getting, getting, just getting right on that, actually. Just hop right inside. Oh. Ten minutes on the clock! Guys, can I do this in ten minutes? Okay. Oh. George, look at the upper left corner of the top screen. I see it. This is how long the Phantom Hourglass will protect you from the curse. Oh, so find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out, and then escape. That's it. Without the sand, it will start to suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye on the time that you have left. This is the door of power. You can use my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper into the temple. Alright. Oh boys, we're moving in deeper! Because I'm going deeper and deeper. Harder and harder. Um... What's my strats? Oh! Oh. Oh! Oof. Those don't look fun. Hey! It's an enemy! Alright, well you know what to do. Well, it's kind of big. Wait, George! That evil- the, the evil that cursed this temple made these monsters. They're phantoms! And they're very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable. And they strike very hard. Hmm, tell me more, Daddy. Does that mean you can't really defeat them? I mean, there's gotta be a way. Well, 
All you can do right now is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. This is where the phantoms are. Oh god, it's a stealth mission? Ah, oh, shit. The cone is where they are looking. So we have to sneak around, kind of like thieves. But what if we're seen? If they see you, run straight for a safe zone. By safe zone, do you mean those purple spaces on the ground? Oh yeah, you know, the sand stopped moving in the hourglass when we are in one. That's right, the purple tiles on the floor are safe zones. This temple's curse makes it a dangerous place, but it's not all bad. The safe zones remain as places that evil can't get to. Okay. So if a phantom spots you, just run to a safe zone. Got it. Right, George? Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, don't let a phantom see you. Well, I will try my hardest not to. But where am I going? What do you have to say? Lighting the torches should open the way. But how am I supposed to light two of them? I'm guessing this idiot didn't have a boomerang. <laughs> But I do. All right, so there's a key there. What does this do? Oh, there's one. Oh, oh no. How much time do I have? Okay, hit it. Wait, shit. The screen doesn't move far enough. Ah, whew, nailed it. Uh, nothing much up that way. Let's go... What's this? I don't know. Alright. Just stay safe, whatever you do. Oh! I have you now! Oh, George, you've been spotted by a phantom, you fucking idiot! You better run into a safe zone! I'll get you! Cheapers. Alright. Keep it safe. Let's go... Uh-oh. Uh um, what do you have to say? Break a red pot to spill its magical contents onto the floor. Stand in the puddle to conceal yourself. Oh, uh, ooh. Oh, it's like an invisibility potion. That's kind of sick. Alright. Grab the key. So that probably helps you hide from phantoms. I also... <sighs> you know what I can't help but notice once again? Uh-oh. Stay perfectly still. <laughs> be inconspicuous. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. You know what would have really helped here is having bombs. Man, we gotta take the long way around. When am I gonna get fucking bombs? This is getting ridiculous. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. But don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't, 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 don't be fucking suspicious. Uh-oh. Don't be suspicious! Perfect. We did ex- Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, God! You know what? I wanted to be up here anyways. It's fine. This is, this is actually where I wanted to be. Just took a shortcut, if you don't mind. Alright. Traverse onward. Next floor. Hmm. So he's standing in front of a switch. Oh. Oh, he's on the move. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, to the safe zone, to the safe zone. Run there. <laughs> okay, okay, I think everything's fine. I think we're good. Don't get caught by him. And then, where do I? Oh. That probably wasn't the best way to do that, was it? How do I go further? Oh, I see. Hmm. Like that? Okay, but then what? Do you have a, a tip? 
The phantom's here when a switch is hit. It switches quietly. Okay. Or lure them with a the sound. Okay. Um. But am I stuck? Did I f fuck this up? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> not my dumbass not seeing the switch. Okay, move down. Over this way. Um, there's a phantom coming. I don't feel very good about that. Alright, follow his tracks. Oh, man, he's really gonna take his time, isn't he? Stealth missions are fun! <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Oh, of course he's gonna go the long way. Alright, fine. We'll slowly trail behind this guy. Oi, oi. I've been working on the railroad. Okay, go up here. Dope! I should have watched the paths the phantoms walk more carefully. Okay. What was the point of that? Oh, maybe it wasn't supposed to happen yet. Okay, hang on. Uh, we have to get around him. We have to go up to the key. I, I get it. I get what the, the objective is. Walk quietly. Don't be suspicious. Oh, look! Another bombable wall. Oh. Right. My boomerang. Always forgetting about that. Alright. Good, great. Don't be suspicious! <laughs> if I stay still like this, he won't see me. Can we walk quietly? Be quiet with the switch. Don't draw attention to us. And we just take the key, and I think we're, uh, I think we're, we're pretty damn near good to go, right? Stealth missions are like grinder in real life. Oh god, a whole nother floor. Basement three, okay. Um, what's the objective? The clue to the ghost ship rests on this floor, just a little further- How do you know? <laughs> well, whatever, it's not my problem. Alright, just a little further, they say. Just a little further. Who knew the contents of the yellow pots restore time in the hour- Oh, dope. If only I had the hourglass, maybe things would have been different. <laughs> yeah, having the hourglass is probably an important requirement. Add 30 seconds on the clock! Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh, shit! A force gem! What is this? Take it away quietly. Oh, you got a triangle! I wonder what you're supposed to do with it. That is a force gem, stolen from the Ocean King by the hands of evil. You'll need the power of force gems to open a door and delve deeper. So, uh, what do you do with it? Oh. I can see it over there. There are pedestals where the force gems go. Place all force gems here and the door will open. Oh, so all you have to do is take the force gems there. But be careful, you'll move a lot slower when you're carrying a big force gem. Cause you're a weak ass bitch. If a phantom sees you, and don't think you can get away, don't be a hero, just drop the force gem and run to a safe zone. Okay, that sounds pretty simple. Look out for phantoms and lug the force gems around. Alright, wish me luck, boys. Oh, I really do move slow. Okay, it's fine. Just get to the pedestal. Dun 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 Alright, one down! Does that mean that there's three to go? Sorry, two to go? I can count. What does this say? Offer up the forest gems on the sacred- Yeah, okay, well, that much was already explained to me. Um... Oh! Uh, uh-oh. Oh, no! Uh, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm in trouble. 
<laughs> I'm in big trouble. Fuck, where were the safe zones? Objection! Oh, shit. Alright, that could have gone a quite a bit better for me, I feel. <laughs> I feel like that didn't go very slay. Alright, okay. How do I... I can't really get up there, can I? Oh, wait a second. Maybe I can. Oh, here's something. Oh, it's another force gem. Okay, cool. So, firmly grasp it. Up this way. Over here. And get it put in position. And then, yeah, if we go over this way, all of a sudden we can hit this, okay. Well, great, that turned out the spikes, but like, what about... Where the hell else am I supposed to go? Um, how do I put out the fire? Do I have a key? <clears throat> Phantoms sometimes carry keys, but what could I have done to take one? That's a good question. What could I have done? Oh, okay, cool, cool. So we can get up there. Can I beat the phantom to it? Can I beat the phantom to it? Can I beat the phantom to it? Oh, that was close. Oh. Wait! Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Game design, I'm reading what you're throwing down. Don't you worry about it for a second. Yeet him! Fuck yeah. I will be kindly taking this key if you don't mind. And I will gladly open this door with it. And I think this is going to be my last force check. Never has the sound of metal clanking been so ominous. Thunder Phoenix! I couldn't agree more. Alright, we gotta hurry it up, boys. I've only got three minutes left on my time clock here. <laughs> Let's get this gem put into position. Whew. Feel proud of the work that we got done today. How's this look? Move out in here. Ooh, my clock is frozen. Oh, this door is not gonna open for us. The design's different from the last door. Maybe we need another spirit's help. Oh, this is what you guys meant by like, I have to come back here. But if I come back here with bomb, so maybe, hmm, maybe there's quicker ways to do it. Um, George, look. Your life force isn't being drained and the timer stopped. This place isn't cursed yet. I think we can relax. All right, if you insist. Thank you. What's out here? Nope, let's go back. You got the Northwestern Sea Sea chart. Sometimes this causes a glitch. Oh no, we're good this time. <laughs> Last time it made a horrible sound. Um, oh, it's covered in fucking muck and dust. Now you can explore a new area of the sea. We didn't even finish exploring the entire area we were in. Uh, we got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas of the sea. We should show line back. Am I supposed to explore those on my own time, maybe? Okay, what does this say? Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Alright, if you insist. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat a little. Alright, Daddy Lineback, Daddy... Uh, d uh, d um, old Man. What was his name again? Oceus? Where did they go? Did they leave me here? 
What a bunch of fucking dicks! They didn't even wait for me! Alright, that's fine. Maybe they're just outside of the temple. Nope! Not just outside of the temple, they absolutely did, in fact, completely leave me. How fucked. Alright, let me go give them a piece of my mind. Dun dun dun. Kill it. Thank you. Pardon you. Oh, I will take that. <laughs> hey, yo, lineback! I got some words for you. What the fuck is up with you leaving me there? Are you here by your boat? Oh, hi. What do you want? Does that ship of yours have a cannon? Not that I know of. They make sea life easier, or at least louder. Hmm, that's about all I know about it. Well, I heard you can get them from a guy named Edo on an isle to the south. Ooh! So we can get like a weapon. Okay. A cannon from a guy named Edo on an isle to the south. Oh, I actually made it back. Did you find the sea chart? Line back. You're lucky to have us around doing all of the work. Yeah, we found the new sea chart. Hey, let me see that! It's the chart we need to sail to the sea that's up to the north! But we still don't know the location of the ghost ship! Yeah, have you been paying attention? We have to find two more spirits first. Well, blow me! Right, right, right here, right now? Blow me down to the ground! The chart's so dusty I can't even read it! Make yourself useful and clean it up, will you, George? Oh, wow, I literally do have to blow him. Alright, Daddy. Pay attention, chat. This is how it's done. Oh, it's the blue! It's Spirit of Wisdom. Oh, hey! Another stamp appeared. Achoo! Hey, look, I mean... I knew it all along. I knew it was hidden here. I've always had a sixth sense for such things. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, Lineback. Don't pretend to know what I don't know. Anyway, I bet a spirit's right there. So let's go to that island to the north. Okay, dope, 100%. I'm with you, Lineback, but first... How much money do you make? Because I heard a rumor from another patron of this village that there's an isle to the south, and there's a guy named Edo there, and he'll install a cannon onto our ship. And <clears throat> I know it might be forward to start calling it our ship already, so I do mean your ship that I also use. I think it would be sickening if we got a cannon. So I am going to suggest we take a detour, if you don't mind. Well, once we set sail, I'll explain how we can go to the Northwestern Sea, so let's be off! Go now, or wait? Well, we're gonna wait. Be quick about it, then adventure calls. Right. So, I'm gonna for sure do all of that stuff, but... We're gonna do it... I think, guys. In the next one. Can I get a heart? 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 Thank you. <laughs> so, let me save my game. Um, how does saving work? Let me... Just to be on the safe side, because I don't really know where you spawn. If you spawn, like, in the last house you were in, I feel like that's usually how Zelda games sometimes work. Let's see if we can make ourselves spawn right here. Fingers crossed. We'll find out. Um, I'm gonna call it here for today, because we're at an hour and a half, and it sounds like we're about to leave Merke Island to go on another adventure. So, what I want to do in the next time, I guess we're gonna go to the Northwestern Sea, but before we do that, hopefully I can take a detour and get us a cannon. Um, maybe the game will let me go to the Isle of the South, and maybe I'll be allowed to do a little bit of exploration, if you will. I think that would be quite fun. Um... But that's gonna be it for me tonight. Uh, I feel like we got a lot done. We met Astrid, we rescued a spirit of power, we completed the first temple of the game, and we got next, our next clue from the Ocean Temple. I feel like it was a good day. If you guys are into this game, you're feeling nostalgic for some Zelda, you want to see some more, I will be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern Time to play through some more of Phantom Hourglass. I hope to see you there. Please leave a like on the stream, the engagement is super helpful, and that's going to be it for me tonight. Toodles, boys!